Our priority, the lens through which we're going to do this, is a compassionate Conservative government. It's just complete bollocks and completely unchallenged the fourth chancellor in as many months couldn't wait to repeat it. For people who are uh, on the breadline, finding life extremely difficult, to those people I want them to know this is a compassionate Conservative government. How hard would it be to just say, hang on a minute, you're talking complete bollocks. In the last five weeks, your government has threatened benefit claims, told nurses they can just leave, labelled those refusing to accept crappy royal terms pay cuts militant, borrowed billions to pay for tax cuts for the rich, and said you dream of deporting asylum seekers to Rwanda for Christmas. Let's take a look at what compassion actually means to the Conservative government in their own words. I was actually quite clear in my, um, uh, in my leadership campaign that I wanted to cut welfare spending. I think we have far too many people in this country who are fit to work, who are able to work and should be working. Um, and they, 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 choose, they choose to top up their salaries with tax credits. Um, there are too many people in this country who are of working age, who are of good health, uh, and who are choosing to rely on benefits, on taxpayers' money, on your money, my money. Well, imagine the shock when the Home Secretary finds out the majority of people claiming benefits are either in work or seeking work, many going without food every day just so they can feed their kids. And here's the latest government policy being laid out by the former Chancellor just a couple of weeks ago. We'll ask around 120,000 more people on universal credit to take active steps to seek more and better paid work or face having their benefits reduced. And it just gets worse. We do need to leave the European Convention on Human Rights. The ECHR protects the right to a fair trial, freedom of assembly and expression, the right to participate in free elections, freedom of religion and freedom from discrimination. And let's give the final word to our compassionate Prime Minister. Is it fair that on this yes, decision... Yes, it is fair. It is fair yes, to give the wealthiest fair. people more money back. It is fair.